Thank you for tuning in. It's Legacy 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. More importantly, we teach women how men think. Toll free here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Well, we promised you that uh, we had somebody who's going to dump that bitch. And this is just an amazing story. And I want to introduce you to Josh. Thank you for coming on with us, Josh. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want relationship. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to speak your mom. I just want bang, bang, bang. Bang, you drive me insane when you give me that bang, bang, bang. Okay, Annie, listen. I don't want to make sex, eat chocolate, look at animals, take walk. No. You come home and you say, hush, you touch me down there. I like that. I don't think so, Annie. Don't have time. Want to drink cigarettes. You know? You know what I need, Annie? I tell you what. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to talk to you. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want relationship. I just want bang, bang, bang. Fresh shoes are me insane when you give me that bang, bang, bang. Oh, hush here. Hush here. You look so good in that hat. Why don't you give me lots of cake? Round, round, round. I don't think so, Annie. You want me to do things to you like the sun and the moon, idiot. I don't have time. I have too many women. <laughs> All I got time for, you know what, is I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to talk to you. I just want bang, bang, bang. I don't want to know your name. I just want bang, bang, bang. That's you drive me insane when you give me that bang, bang, bang. Nicole, do you have any final words here? I just wanted to know that how much I do love him, and that I'm sorry. I know I can't go back and ch change it, but I can't change his mind about this. <laughs> and and uh, to be fair about this, I think you're both too young to have a serious relationship anyway. You need to figure out what you want to be and what you want to do with your life. And, and I must tell you, dear, uh, having nothing but male friends it will cause any man to get upset. And you know that. And that's why you lied about it. You don't know me. I know that you lied to him. And I know you lied to him about something for a reason. You lied to him because you knew what he would say if he found out. Right? Let me tell you a little word of advice if you care. No man's going to put up with that. You'll have to lie to every man you ever date. So you have to, at some point, uh, come to the realization that the men who hang out with you hang out with you to get into your pants. They all do. They're waiting for you to have a fight. I guarantee you that once your friends find out Josh is gone, they'll pounce on you like a coyote on a, on a, on a cocker spaniel. Well, that's exactly, they're buzzards. They're just swirling around, waiting for you to break up with Josh, and then they're going to try to pounce on you. Trust me, the minute you tell your good buddies, all your male friends, that you broke up with Josh, all your good friends are going to want to get in your pants, every one of them. Then you're going to see what we're talking about. They're waiting for this opportunity. And then what will you say about your friend? Everybody else is right. Yeah, that's right. And Josh doesn't need this drama in his life. Josh is going to move on. He's going to be with somebody who uh, is his and his alone. And who isn't hanging out with, with guys who want to get into their pants. But now, hey, you're 19, you're free agent, you got male friends, enjoy your life. But I think you should spend a few years figuring out who you are and what you want to be before you get into a committed relationship. Because I'm telling you, no man is going to tolerate you hanging out with men when they're not around. No man is going to tolerate that. Yes, I know that now. How would you feel if Josh was hanging out with chicks who all wanted to get into his pants when you're not around? And then he lied to you about it. How would you react? I'd be upset. You'd be upset. Remember, guys, to dump that bitch and go McDowell. Why are you wasting time on cunts? Like, subscribe, and comment.